Hey everybody, it's Jen. I'm here today with a Sigma Beauty review. I just got a bunch of brushes from Sigma Beauty. It's the premium kit that I purchased and I'm so excited to try these brushes out. Um, I actually did this look using these brushes and I have to say they are by far the best brushes that I have used so far. Super excited to show you guys how they work and how amazing they are but you really will not know until you've tried them for yourself. So my recommendation is that you check out Sigma Beauty, save up your money and buy some brushes for yourself. It is so awesome. I'm really happy that I did that and I can't wait to get more. So I just I really hope you guys stay tuned to watch the tutorial and that you check out Sigma beauty's website i will put it in the description box so you guys can check that out um but yeah for now just go ahead and watch a tutorial if you'd like to see how i got this look which i'll zoom in on so you guys can have a a little see i did the whole face um pretty much the whole face using sigma brushes um, i don't have all of the brushes that i need yet so obviously i'm going to be investing in more but i did do this i look using sigma brushes and most of my face so go ahead and check that out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, check out Sigma Beauty. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that I actually um, uploaded a video that shows you everything that I got in the premium kit from Sigma Beauty. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I purchased that around the holidays and it came in really good time. So if you order online, you'll get it in probably about two weeks to a month, which really isn't that bad. Um, but yeah, the brushes are amazing and um, so happy that I got these. But definitely wanted to let you guys know that I did do an unboxing of the stuff that I purchased from Sigma. So check that video out um, if you want to see every single brush that comes in the premium kit. So I'm going to start off by Nylon from MAC and I'm going to use that as my highlight color under my brow bone. And to do that, I'm going to use a short shader brush which is number E20 by Sigma oh my gosh these brushes are already amazing I'm just quickly going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. I won't do um, like a tutorial or anything on brows right now just because I'm still really kind of learning how to perfect mine, but this Brow Wiz is making it very easy to do that. The next color I'm going to apply is Soft Brown by MAC, and that is this color right here. And for my transition area, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush, which is a tapered blending E35 brush from Sigma, which is resemblant of the uh, 224 brush by MAC, I believe it is. If I'm getting that wrong, I'm sorry, I don't own that brush. but. Um, it's a very fluffy blending brush and very soft. So getting some soft brown on there, just blend that lightly in your crease and blending the edge out of nylon. Oh my gosh, these brushes are so soft. These have already easily replaced the brushes I was previously using. The next color I'm going to use is called Swiss Chocolate, and it is this color right here, also a MAC eyeshadow. 
and using the same E35 Sigma brush, I'm just going to apply that a little closer into the crease. The next color I'm going to use is a pigment from MAC and it is called Teal. And the brush that I'll be using from Sigma is a small tapered blending brush, E45, which has a point on it. And I'll be taking this color lightly in my crease. So taking the E45 tapered blending brush, I'm just going to apply this in the crease area, positioning my brush at a kind of a slant so that when you apply the product it applies on the top part of your transition area and not toward your lid. But focus most of the product in your crease. Start off with a little bit of product and then apply it as necessary. Okay, so once your eyes look kind of like this, we're going to go back in with our Sigma E35 blending brush and taking soft brown ever so lightly on the tip, just blending out the top of that. So now taking Bottle Green, which is a MAC Pro color, I'm going to use the Tapered Blending Brush, which is number E45 by Sigma. And I'm just going to lightly apply that just right in the crease area, not, not making it too obvious, but just making sure that that crease area has some dimension.
Okay, so the next color that I want to use is called Plumage, and that is by MAC, which is this deep dark color right here. It's almost like a super dark teal color. I just want to add some dimension to the outer corner of my eye, and I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. contour brush. Um, I don't really know which Sigma brush to use for that, um, just based on what I've purchased. So I'm going to use this because I'm very confident in this brush for my outer corner. Um, but just solely based on what I've used so far from Sigma, I will be purchasing more brushes so quickly. Like As soon as I have more money freed up, I am immediately going to be buying more brushes from Sigma. They're so good. <laughs> So, sorry, moving forward, I'm going to use my e.l.f. brush and plumage and just create that outer V. Alright, so once you've deepened the outer V, um, if you have this or any other glitter glue, um, I would suggest you apply it now on your lid. So this is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, and I'm going to apply that um, over the clean space on my lid because the next shadow we're going to use is extremely glittery. So not taking too much of this product, I'm just going to lightly tap it onto my lid. All right, so the next shadow that we're going to use is um, called Zodiac, and it is a moon dust um, collection or, or a moon dust eyeshadow from Urban Decay, and it looks like that, very very shimmery. Um, and I don't have um, another shadow brush that I want to use from Sigma right now, um, just based on what I bought in my first collection. So I'm just going to use this um, e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and it's just a almost a, uh, a short shader brush but it's, a, it's in between like here let me show you an example. So here is a regular eyeshadow brush which is long and then here is the short shader brush from Sigma. So it's kind of in between those two. So we're just going to take this and apply moon dust eyeshadow in zodiac all over the lid where you applied that other color I'll just zoom in a little bit so you guys can have a closer look. So here are the eyes without eyeliner and mascara. I'm just going to go and apply um, eyeliner right now, but I think I'm going to use my MAC Black Track Fluid Line and I want to use one of my Sigma brushes. So I'm going to use this brush by Sigma and it is a small eyeliner E10. Check out how fine this brush looks. Seriously, like I'm so excited to use this right now. So again, I'm using my um, MAC Black track fluid line gel liner. I should probably use a liquid over top of this glittery eyeshadow but because I want to show you guys as many Sigma brushes as I can in this review um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this E10 eyeliner brush.
Look how fine that gets. And this is gel liner. That is so awesome. Okay, this is hands down by far my favorite eyeliner brush as of right now. This is so awesome. Crisp and clean. I'm loving this. You guys need to try these brushes out. They're awesome. So I'm totally loving that brush. Um, again, it is the Small Eyeliner Brush E10 by Sigma. Amazing. I totally love it and I will invest in more of those. I can't even talk like I'm so lost for words with how amazing these brushes are compared to what I have been using and I thought those were really great but these hands down are by far the best that I've used so far. Um, I'm going to be applying my mascara quickly. I won't do that on screen but I'll be right back to show you guys concealer and stuff. Okay so here's the finished eye look. Um, I'm not going to be putting anything on the bottom of my eyes, um, so if you guys want to, by all means, go right ahead, but I don't usually wear anything on the bottom of my eyes simply because my eyes are very watery. Um, they're typically dry, but if there's anything there, they'll instantly water and it'll just get washed away, so I don't even bother. Um, but the next thing I want to do is my concealer. And I want to use the concealer brush in F75, and this is by Sigma. And I'm going to be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. So taking this concealer brush by Sigma, I'm just going to apply a small amount of my concealer underneath my eye. and bring it down along the side of the nose. And then I just take my finger and blend that out. I'm just going to do the same to the other side. So I have applied my foundation and everything. Um, I didn't have a Sigma brush for that, so I just bypassed that step. But I did use MAC's um, Match Master foundation in 4.0. Now I'm going to apply Max Prep and Prime and this is a translucent powder just to set my concealer and for that I will use the Sigma Large Fluff Brush in E50. So just getting a little bit of the translucent powder on the tip of the fluff brush and I'm just going to apply that right underneath my eye. The bronzer that I'm going to use today is from e.l.f. and it's from the Contour Blush and, and Bronzer Duo 
and it looks like that so I'll be using this brown color on my contour today with the Sigma tapered face f25 brush so just taking a little bit of that on the tip and tapping off any excess I will be lightly contouring out the hollows of my cheek So I switched up the brush because um, this tapered face brush is just so soft that it really didn't chisel out my contour the way that I wanted to. I know it's really not made for that so um, I had to switch it up to something else. So I just avoided that on this video. Sorry about that you guys. But I will be purchasing um, a contour brush in future from Sigma and I'll let you know how that is when I get that. But for now I'm going to do my highlight and I'm going to use a tapered highlighting brush and it just, this is in the number F35 and I'll be using Redhead Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC and I'm going towards the lighter portion of this skin finish and just dusting that lightly and sort of a C formation around my eye and underneath the eye area. So I'll be taking this lightly down the bridge of my nose in between my eyebrows on my forehead on my cupid's bow and on my chin. So the next brush I want to use is the powder blush brush and this is number F10 by Sigma. And using the same duo from e.l.f. I'm going to be using this color right here for my blush today. So this is the finished product. I just need to let you guys know how much I absolutely love these brushes. Um, they're so soft and wonderful. Like they're, they're nice to hold in your hand when you're applying your makeup. I just have so many good things that I want to say about these brushes and very happy that I invested. The brushes also come in this case. So it's like a nice wide um, brush case holder and on the inside it has all the slots for your brushes and then you can um, cover them so that they're not getting product everywhere while you're using them so yes this is uh, such a great idea especially if you're taking it to um, a session with brides or anybody that you're doing makeup on um, but yeah, the brushes themselves, like the case aside, the brushes themselves are perfect. I really, really like the brushes so much and I'm definitely going to invest in more in future. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing, these are some of the brush kits that you can get from Sigma. So there's a lot of them. Um, the one that I picked is the premium kit, which is right here. And it was, I believe, $189, if I'm not mistaken, on their website. I will put the uh, website in the description box so you guys can have a look at that. Um, also, follow them on Instagram and Twitter. 
and post pictures of what you've done using their products and they're really really supportive and um, they have amazing stuff I'm very very excited to try a lot of the stuff that they have on their website that I haven't um, this is my very first purchase through Sigma and I'm really happy that I did that so um, can't wait to try out more thank you Sigma Beauty so much for the amazing brushes um, everything that you guys make I hear nothing but good things about and I'm so pumped to try them all so thanks again to everybody for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that you try out Sigma Beauty for yourself take care and have a great day guys bye